In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to craft the frag grenade along with the uses of it, the damage it does on wood and the damage it does on stone and a little surprise at the end. So you craft it on the machine bench and it's in your tier 3. It's here. Yeah, it costs 1 ingot and 10 gunpowder to craft on the machining bench. You've got to unlock the smoke grenade to unlock the frag grenade. To craft the gunpowder for the frag grenade, you're going to need a mortar and petrol and you're going to have to have gunpowder unlocked. So to craft gunpowder, you need sulfur and charcoal. You get charcoal from cooking spoiled meat in a fire or burnt down trees. So what you need to do is make sure you've got that in the inventory of the mortar and petrol and you go ahead and you can craft 10 gunpowder as it's 10 gunpowder per frag grenade. So once you've got your gunpowder, come back to the machine and bench. You're going to need iron ingots as well as it's 10 gunpowder and one iron ingot to craft a frag grenade along with fuel. So if you remember from my previous video, the smoke grenade, you need a fuel canister, which is costs 25 iron ingots, which you need to unlock also. So the fuel canister is also in your tier three. You've got to unlock the biofuel composter to unlock the biofuel can. If you didn't see my uh, smoke grenade video, I'll cover this again for this video. You need to, once you've crafted your biofuel can on your machine bench, it costs 25 iron ingots. You place it in the biofuel composter's inventory and you can use tree sap along with any one of these items to generate the fuel. Your fuel can will fill up over time to have this green icon start to go around. When that's full, that means the can's full. You do not need a full can to craft the grenades or it uses very little fuel. So once you've got your fuel, your gunpowder and your iron ingot, go ahead and craft yourself a frag grenade. There we go, and that's it. It says, yeah, a basic fragmentation grenade design. Now you're going to see me using a frag grenade on a wooden 2x2 two two structure. And you're going to see the damage it does to that. And then you're going to see a frag grenade on a 2x2 two two stone structure. And you're going to be seeing the damage of that. And their little surprise at the end.
If you found this video helpful, guys, make sure you give the video a good old thumbs up. If you want to support me further, you can always subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I just want to say a massive thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me with this video. Again, you can check all my social links down below.